right, good morning, good morning, guys, and a welcome, welcome to the show. <clears throat> we are just getting our day started. This is the corner we had spent the night in last night. Now it's time to leave, and they are all kinds of speed bumps and all kinds of stuff in this parking lot. I'm telling you. <clears throat> yeah, this is a this is a decent size flying J, but it gets full in here pretty quick. Okay, he wants to he wants to back in there, I guess. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go this way because I want to leave, right? So yeah. I'm gonna try and go around out here. There's a lot, a lot of birds out here. You see all them crawls and these white annoying birds. Yeah. Hey, it's nice and sunny today. I really, really like that. Oh, this one almost looks like this one is uh, turned a little bit. Let me adjust that. Oh, they got some mud holes in here too. That's a pretty deep one right there. I'm telling you, if you were to go through there with, uh, with a big truck with a little bit of speed, you'd probably take your front steering tire off. <clears throat> now, let's see, which way do we get out of here? Oh, I guess that is the correct way to get out of here, I guess. That's what it looks like. Um, I'm not sure. It does look that way, but... I'm trying to see where exactly does this thing go because I know that is an entrance there but I don't see no exit sign up here I'm just and I know the uh, entrance for the wash bay is right there I'm trying to see if this is the correct way to get out of here I guess <clears throat> we'll find out looks that way yeah looks that way it's a little bit tight now, huh? Yeah, this is a... Yikes. <laughs> a bumpy road, but yeah, this is the proper way to get out of here, I guess. I guess these other drivers know better than I do, that's for sure. I'm sure they've been here before. Yeah. So, let's find our way out of here. Yeah, there's a traffic light right there, so that way you can get back onto that street up there all right so I did the right thing then that's for sure I like it when I do the right thing <laughs> first thing in the morning it's always nice yeah they do have a wash bay and everything there so you can get your truck washed trailer washed out I'm sure <clears throat> but anyways we even got green grass up here can you believe that that is nice now we gotta probably sit and wait here for 15 minutes for that traffic light to change. Yeah, there we go. Now that traffic light is changing. But I gotta stop here because there is a stop sign here, so. I don't know if that truck wants to go. Alright, he doesn't wanna go, so alright. And I'll go real quickly and hopefully I can make that traffic light. Yeah, so far it's looking good. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, over there, if I would have tried to exit over there, that wouldn't have worked, right? Because you can't get on over to this side of the road here. You see what I mean? <clears throat> right here, you can't cross, right? So that would have been... That would have been bad, right? But here we go. So let's go over to our pickup. According to my buddy uh, Eon, he says it's uh, fairly tight there. Uh, at the customer there to get uh, loaded so hopefully it's not too terribly bad but I guess only time will tell we'll find out here in a little bit We're only about an hour away all the right now there is a little bit of a uh, little bit of a backup there on 95 going into Baltimore which is to be expected but whatever we have to deal with it right when we get there, maybe by that time it's cleared up a little bit. Who knows, right? But yeah, this was a definitely a, a worth stopping at this particular Flying J. Like I told you guys yesterday, the uh, Flying J used to have the Golden Corral at all of the uh, Flying J's buffets like that. And it used to be like 10 bucks for a buffet, all you could eat, you know? And I guess since they've uh, 
join with pilot now it's a pilot flying J right most of them and I think since they did that in 600 feet, it uh, no longer is that south. right we have Denny's in here now but if you ever want to find it it's, it's on the 95 as soon as you come into Maryland exit 109 and Elton uh, Maryland that's where it's uh, located at so here we go time to hammer down all right, I guess this uh, box truck, he doesn't want to slow down, so <clears throat> that's all right. Sometimes I don't want to slow down either, right? But sometimes you got to, right? It's the road right thing to do. Miles. So that way traffic can merge onto the, onto the road, right? But here we go. Let's hammer down and uh, make it to our reload and get our 44,000 pounds of scrap paper on and take it to Toronto. Hey, look at this guys. We're going over a huge bridge up here. At least a pretty tall one. And they got a big lake up here, a river or whatever you want to call it, canal. I don't care what you call it, a big body of water. And uh, they don't have much of a wall up here. I'm telling you, that's a little scary. <laughs> If you uh, were to ever have a wreck and, you know, you're going a little bit fast or whatever, even the speed limit, you know, like that little barrier right there, I wouldn't trust that from uh, preventing me from going over, like, especially a high vehicle like this. Yikes, that could be pretty easily that you could go over that. But yeah, I just figured I would show you guys this. That is pretty interesting. Yeah, we just had a DOT scale up there and they were open, but they gave us the bypass. So, and I finally got up to where the scale is. It's like, holy moly, I'm glad I got the bypass because there was uh, two lanes uh, to go over the scale or whatever. I guess one for the empty trucks and one for the loaded ones. And there was a long lineup over there, you know. Everybody was going into the scale except for me. I got the bypass. <laughs> Yeah, so I wasn't uh, going to waste my time in there, I guess uh, you could say. But I'm loving this beautiful day today. And finally, for the first time, I slept much better this night, too, in a, in a little while here, you know. Like, for the last couple of, I don't know, week and a half, I guess I could say. I haven't really been sleeping that great either because of the cold and whatever, right? So last night I, I felt my throat was starting to get really bad again, so I decided now I'm going to go back in and get me some uh, pills and took, a two, took two of them and uh, I had a great night's sleep. Finally woke up uh, maybe 20 minutes before I had set my alarm, so that was awesome. That was really, really good. And I didn't have no coughing fit at night or whatever, like I had the, the two nights prior to that I had big coughing fit there. You know after a couple of hours of sleep so oh I guess uh, I don't know if we're really on the better stretch yet it feels that way but we'll see but anyways I guess I'm gonna move over so this truck can uh, go in here he's going at pretty good speed so just like I was saying earlier to that other truck you know like he didn't want to slow down and move into the other lane or anything like that right so whatever, I, I tried to be professional and move over whenever I possibly can. Now I know he had a truck beside him too, so that he couldn't move over right there and then, but he could have slowed down and, uh, you know, slow down and, and it would have only taken him two seconds, right? And slow down and move into the other lane, but hey, that's how it goes. I mean, he wasn't a big truck either, he was just a box truck, right? So. Some of those drivers are just typical four-wheeler drivers, right? I'm not saying every four-wheeler is bad, but, you know, they don't really, you know, most of you guys that are four-wheelers, you don't really know what it is driving a big truck, right? Most of you. Not everybody, you know, but some of you guys uh, don't know what it's like, right? And uh, <clears throat> until you've been in one and driven one, you know, it's a totally different experience, right? But anyhow, we are about a half an hour away, 32 miles to, to get to our customer. So let's make that happen. I have just gotten to my pickup location and the reason why I'm showing you guys that, you guys see that day cab truck over there? That's where I'm supposed to put it into the dock. Can you guys see that? 
that they cab is even having not much room there and that's where I'm supposed to put it into well, that's going to be fun so I'm going to have to back in from over here on the street into there that's going to be fun I guarantee you that so wish me luck guys here we go guys Your patience for me makes life worth living. 
don't stay angry when we fight. You always make sure that we kiss goodnight. I got a million reasons to love you. Looks like we have made it guys and they even got a white line here. You guys see that? Right alongside the trailer there, there's like a white line there and we are perfectly lined up with that. And uh, this is the room that we have to work with. <clears throat> Let me show you guys on how much room is left over here. I don't know if a car could even, well a car could maybe get by here but this is the only room that I have left to work with. So that's why I said, it would have been pretty much impossible to turn around in here so I had to back in from the street as you guys saw and back her in here but we made it as you guys can see we made it so that's awesome yeah, it's a little crooked on this side I guess but I guess these lines can't be straight done because the other line is straight so I was trying to line it up with the other line and this line is not straight let me see which one is really straight <laughs> well we are packed in that's all right. Yeah, they'll be able to get in here. Looks like they're lifting the plate already, but yeah, that's it. We made it. That's the kind of places we sometimes have to go, right? That's just how it goes. Anyways, they should be able to get us loaded. We're a little bit off on this side, but I was lining up to the other line on the other side, right? So not my problem if they don't have the line straight, right? But seems like they're getting ready to load me right now, so. That is awesome, I like that a lot actually. Alrighty guys, we are now done loading here. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna go down to the TA truck stop just down the road here. And uh, it's actually only like two miles away, so I'm gonna go down there and uh, 600 feet, turn left on scale the load, street, right? And then turn <clears throat> just, left uh, 420 feet. Just to be 100% uh, sure that I am legal, right? I know this street is a little bit rough here, but <laughs> that's just how it goes, right? And I didn't get any customs paperwork there, so uh, I'm not sure exactly what we're supposed to do. I sent dispatch a message telling them that I didn't get customs paperwork, so I figured out. In the meanwhile, I'm going to go down here to the uh, truck stop, scale the load. I have to come back, I guess I have to come back, but that's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> go scale the load in the meanwhile, right? That's the best way to do it, I think. And I went and cleaned that lens really, really good. And the camera looking out of the window, I looked like it was a little bit of dirt on it or whatever. So I tried to clean it really good and I've noticed I think I got two really, really small uh, uh, stone ships. Just put the par stickers on just to do this and okay. Oh, okay, cool. So they uh, just sent me a message here saying that just put the par stickers on the bill of lading and the customs broker already has got the bill of lading. So that's good. That's good. So I faxed it or I didn't fax it. I sent it via the app that we use to send it to our company I already. Uh, already sent it over there so we're good in that department <clears throat> I'm not sure uh, looking at my uh, GPS here it wants me to go kind of around like that to go to uh, to the truck stop so I'm not 100% sure exactly how to get there but according to Google map I can make a right up here on one of these streets and then make a left and then uh, make another left and I should be at the truck stop but yeah Hello, sometimes Maya. that's Turn not 100% right accurate right Avenue. I should have looked at it on Google map a little bit closer to see exactly what that looks like I think I'm gonna get into the right lane though because I'm gonna to have to make a turn regardless and <clears throat> the truck stop is right over there okay up here it says no trucks uh, before any north highway oh okay yeah that's only for local delivery so I do have to go straight 
So I do see trucks down there, but that's only for local deliveries, right? So I'm gonna have to go around, I guess. That's no problem. But we're gonna go up there and scale the load, and once we're scaled, we can start heading to Toronto. Yeah! So let's go do it, guys. Here I am, rolling through Eugene, Oregon. Headed south on Interstate 5. Brett Sylvine is singing Teddy Bear on the radio. Man, that song always makes me cry. I've been gone from home over two months now. Maybe I'll make it in after my drop in Omaha. I promised my little girl I'd try to be home more. I guess I better give her a call. Graders are excited. Tonight is our Thanksgiving play. I get to be a pilgrim. I wish you could be here. Oh, I lost another tooth today. Mama said I might see you on Christmas. I sure hope so. I miss you so much, Daddy. When are you coming? I've been driving hard from El Paso to Baton Rouge, though I did stop in San Antonio for a meal. Now I'll have to keep I-10 hot to be on time in Jacksonville. You know I can't remember to save my soul the last time I rocked my little girl to sleep. I better just give her a quick call and tell her I'll try to get home in a couple of weeks. I was sure hoping you'd be here to see me all dressed up for the prom. But you'll get to see what I looked like. Because there were a lot of pictures taken by mom. You are going to be here for my graduation, aren't you? I sure hope so. I miss you so much, Daddy. When are you coming home? It's sure cold up here in Minneapolis, especially this time of year. But I'll make Chicago by nightfall if they get that snow on 94 clear. You know I keep promising my little girl I'll park this old truck and get off the road. I think before I spend any more time without her, I'll call and tell her I'm finally coming home. Daddy, I've been waiting on your call. I haven't left the hospital yet. This morning I had the most beautiful baby girl. And she'll look a lot like little Jimmy, I bet. Huh, little Jimmy? He don't know what to think. You know, he's already three years old. By the way, Daddy, he wants to talk to you. Hi, Papa. I miss you.
fell in love so fast But I knew right from the start That you would never break my heart I'm sure I could count on you For making all my dreams come true How very lucky I must be To have you here loving me like a pull over area I guess <clears throat> and there's like a nice 
big river that I've been driving alongside here for a little while. And uh, yeah, just about every time I turn on my camera, somebody has got a call, right? Yeah, that's how it usually goes. But as I was saying, it was just like a little pullover area there. And I decided to fly my drone, as you guys probably saw in my previous clip. I'm sure you guys did. It was a lot of fun. It really was. We had this uh, fairly big river system going through here. And I've been driving alongside of it for a good long while already. And I said, yeah, I would like to uh, fly my drone up here. So, because I haven't flown it in a good while, I... I had to kind of charge up the batteries a little bit so what I did is I parked and as soon as I did that I went and got it and uh, plugged in my batteries and then I also plugged in my uh, little burden oven there and uh, warmed up some lunch and had me a bite to eat and then uh, by that time one of the batteries was charged up I mean it wasn't all the way that it still had about a half percent you know 50 percent charge but i wanted to have it full charge right so this way i could do a little flying around right so we did that got our little drone flight going there and that turned out pretty good i think so now we're done with all of that dispatch already asked when will you be in toronto i'm like yeah tomorrow 9 a.m I uh, already told him 10 a.m. first when I sent my departing message, but I said, nah, 9 o'clock should work. Should, in all reality, but anyways, it is, uh, well, almost 3 o'clock over here local time, I guess you could say, and same thing in Toronto, right? So, and I got another six hours worth of driving to do yet, so that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I won't be in Toronto before nine, nine thirty tonight, so you know, take a ten hour break. Well, hey, nine o'clock it is, right? So that's what I'm kind of thinking. <clears throat> and that's alright, you know. Especially if I wanna go See, to uh, Master Steak tonight yet, and have me a good steak or something like that. I definitely uh, need a little time, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. But anyways, let's go ahead and continue on cruising along here and see what the rest of the day will bring us. I am now already in Pennsylvania, guys, for a little while. And the sun is trying to hide behind the rocks over there. Mind you, it is 4.30 in the afternoon over here, right? So. It is starting to go downhill a little bit with the sun. But hey, I think we're looking at some amazing sky colors right now. And so why not show you guys a little bit of it. We're going to be going downhill here again into the valley, I guess. We're kind of on the top here for right now. But yeah, looks like gorgeous sky colors. I love that. I love color, right? I, I really do. Sometimes you guys may see my videos or my pictures being a little contrasted. And it's because I love color. I really do. I love, I love the color to pop, right? And that's probably why. But Anyways, I uh, just got a message from dispatcher a little while ago saying that the early, uh, earliest appointment that they could get was tomorrow at 12.30 p.m which is right after lunch tomorrow so in all reality I don't really have to get into Canada today I would really like to but do I really have to no so we'll see exactly what we will end up doing but I don't think that we will really really push to try and get into Canada today I mean only time will tell I mean it's still fairly early for me it's only 3 30 in the afternoon central standard time but if i don't have to deliver there till 12 30 tomorrow then i may as well park somewhere and uh go tomorrow we'll do the rest tomorrow right why why push so hard tonight and drive in the dark when we don't have to right now my ears are popping because we're going downhill so fast <laughs> Well, you know, we've got 70 speed limit up here. We're doing about 69 miles an hour right now, so right around the speed limit. <laughs> Which I can't really go that fast. It's just because, you know, the weight is pushing me down, right? 
you might be able to hear my engine brake a little bit kick in there but I'm starting to feel much better now and uh, I'm hoping I can uh, you know, show that in my videos too so we can start producing better videos again here for the last two weeks it's been kind of eh, you know videos haven't really been that great and it's because I haven't felt that good right and I need to change my light uh, batteries they are starting to die on me at the beginning they're really nice and bright and then uh, as I talk a couple of minutes they start to fade out right but anyhow let's continue on cruising along here and see how far we make it tonight all right you guys <clears throat> it's the next morning and uh, I made it up here to uh, this place right here last night master steak I know the sky is a little bit blown out right now <clears throat> it's because I don't have the uh, filters on there let me show you guys I take those filters off you guys see that how it is uh, darker on top than it is on bottom right <clears throat> or right now it may look different because uh, it's laying upside down right but anyways that's what I usually put on there for uh, driving down the road but Anyways, uh, we made it here last night, went in, had a good steak. Well, I first went to the terminal, dropped my trailer, Bob Till over to the Flying J, got some fuel. And then I went over here, had me a good steak, and went to bed. Now we had a good night's sleep. And for some odd, weird, stupid reason, I don't know how this happened, <clears throat> I scratched my nose through, throughout the night. I have no idea how that happened. I never woke up or nothing. I wake up this morning, I look look in the mirror, I'm like, whoa, whoa, what happened there, you know? <clears throat> so anyways, we're going to go ahead and get out of here, start a new day. And I thank you very much for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow.